Pushes through on the elbow pistol, side. The cipher stunts. The line, but he's got some Taking down the neon. There's a chance. Um, okay, SPG on attack, boom on defense, and I'm worried for a free nil, and I want boom to have a good start. We get a good final, and that's a great start. And the HUD is Palma start. No, Margaret on the lock, bro. To be able to meet up with it's him, already starting. The no, they had the first kill. Uh, just for a check, I'm at 120, 19. Oh, He's the He's blocked off by um, perfect smoke from Persia. I'm kind of 20 seconds ahead. I can tell me to come, Eugene. You're 20 seconds ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll try to catch <laughs> I, I, I can go YouTube, I can go YouTube. going to be burnt off the clock here. Is a raid boss, though. Oh, you you were on Twitch, okay, with. okay. Yeah, that was my bad. I forgot. And the sheriff, he really, outside of the paranoia, could not have <laughs> any seconds to behind to be able to complete this one on three. But is he going to even have the opportunity to do so? They're giving him absolutely nothing. The big brother of the team, though, gonna have to try to make it work. The sheriff, it does quite the number oh. of damage. <laughs> But look okay. at the utilities. It me, does um, through Danby taking the shot. Yeah, we, we're gonna, Never even had a chance. We're gonna switch. He puts to... a smoke down on the spike, instantly hit by a Prowler fault line. See how close SVG, we can get. It's just clinical as always from them. They've chosen to start Sunset. They had the choice of removing two maps. So choosing what maps to insane. start on or choosing the decider. We've seen them steamroll everyone in very quick fashion. Okay, Chai, you're gonna watch that replay again. Chosen to start on sunset here. Moving two maps, choosing what map to start on or oh, choosing the loud, decider. Right? We've seen them steamroll everyone in very quick fashion in this tournament and they've chosen to okay, start I'm on, on sunset YouTube. here. I just got out the replay. The right and it's a match that Okay, know, I think I have to catch up like three seconds or so, so I'll just do a quick little fast forward. Yeah, uh, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 32. Alright, yeah, I'm like one second behind now, second behind now I think so. Really Perfect. We're good. Not much for them to find in a round like this. They're going to try to isolate the lurker, Margaret, who's just holding backside of B-Main for now. Taking a couple of shots. Can't quite fight too much. Debbie wants to um, slide in. Chai, should I draw hard? I think it might be Palmer. Francis and Margaret completely blinded up by the Dizzy, though. Unfortunately, it's still not quite enough. It's all down to Zespi once again. He tries to block them off with the dark cover. Oh. They are still flooding I'm the trying site. Trying to draw hard. Zespi, what's going on? Tries to get a shot, but it's to no avail. Okay. Ivy ends the round. That's... Yeah, simple anti-eco there from SPG. A little bit of pressure over on that A side of the I map. Think they come back is, and wrap back to the B side. Meet is up with Margaret. The thing that caused the delay. So I don't think we're getting a hunt for a bit. Main. Early on here, so let's try our best. Got yourself a neural death for Margaret. I'm looking at SPG in the um, okay. in this bonus. If they're able to find an early pick and get a good timing on that neural theft, they could completely Who's on run the circles left, around SPG, Rumi right. in terms of the rotations and the decision making in the mid to late round. And that could give them so much momentum, right, Pilski? That's what they're looking for without a do doubt. Chad, do you want BME or do you want Boom? They're looking for more. Boom, on the other hand, was wondering how they were going to approach the start of this match, whether they were going to try to take a foot forward. But they've started Most of you are saying boom. The mod said BME, so they're probably going to be angry at me. So SPG just confirming that this is where boom is trying to hold, and they're trying to force yeah, them and then off we got this a two info now. line. But there's no commitment from SPG. They're just trying to deny the info. There's the dizzy to be able to retake that info line. And as soon as SPG hears that, look at that, they immediately go back and try to take it again. Waiting for it. Setting it up, and here it comes. Info line gone. Zespi has to try to hold. Oh, Damn, be bro, they're gonna the run him over. In. Oh, they're gonna run him over. On the off angle, though. He's trying to fight back. Has oh, no. Hand, but no, can't quite toss it up. It's gonna be oh, it's gonna be shot. such a stomp of a now final. It's gonna be devastating. He's the crowd's gonna, gonna, gonna be like a library. Reaction's not quick enough. That be on a tear. Famous tries to fight back, but under the fourth kill. It's Wait. the paint shells that undoes him, but still the Wait, round Chai. over to Don't worry, it's the HUD from Pistol. Okay, from Danby. In the bonus round, the neural theft was on the other side of the map, couldn't get it going, never even well, needed it. You they know that good stuff I was talking about. <laughs> it's not, it's not having. For SPG. I mean, heard the dizzy. also, it just seems like, I mean, I, I get that it's your first buy, but SPG, Boom was playing so scared, and like the breach was so far back in spawn. Yeah, they, they, they just play just gave him bonus free individual 1v1s to start it off. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely.
They're already back onto yet another half by in a matter of minutes. They're so far behind in this game and they need a miracle. But damn, he's running them down him. with the overdrive. He slides in and he's looking for yet another target to hit. This is what I'm saying. Like the Prowler here. Yeah. So he knows exactly where he is. Damn, look at this guy. Absolutely send it. Oh my god. On to the next now, and it's still gonna be Zesby once again. The last guys, get rid of the HUD. We got a HUD. It's cool. He's looking for the shot, but it's not gonna happen once more. Dempy, the disrespect. Okay, chat. Who, who's been counting his right kills? Because is he not like eight and, and one yeah. now or something? <laughs> or eight and oh, or, or like ten so kills or something? Right now, How many kills has this guy got already? <laughs> it's, I, it's I don't even know. Many. Minimum 10, I think. Yeah, it's outrageous, bro. After winning the bonus, they are going to have a rock solid oh, economy to continue dominating on this attacking side. And let me remind you, in the previous series, nine they to went 8-0 and 9-0 up on both maps on attack, and they are dominating on attack again. Boom, they might have had a 7 5 production. You gotta just, it's okay that the HUD's not working. You gotta just get rid of it. You gotta accept it. it. It sucks. It, it, right it's horrible that it's happening, but can't just have the pistol round up with half the screen covered. Over on the other side of the map, Boom have pushed this A info line and dealt with a trip. And this allows for Dan B to slide in. Looking for those targets, he knows they are possibly nearby. But look at the relays, Persia off of the little peak. Bro, they're the running at them, chat. With the they're running them thunder. down. It's Dabby their second buy around. The, line. the rotations have been cut off. SPG choose not to push the issue anymore, but this is where Margaret can catch them in the side. Trying to set up that flank. Man, it's their second it's buy around. They're just running them down. Trying to set up for it. Holding down the positions, I mean, yeah, they're they're looking to just crush the souls out of them. They just got to save. And I like that they all in on the Rolling Thunder, but Margaret's actually still just in spawn. So even if it's a wrap around through main, like they can still pinch them back. Yeah. Uh, I was speaking about this to um the chat. I, I kind of like the um because you know how like breach neon's a really good combo. But like, um, the Fade Neon is pretty underrated. Like it, every bit of util pretty much allows you to like send it on someone. Mm. Everything kind of combos with you running in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a good shout, yeah. They are cheering for it. Boom Esports is what we hear. But our Boom Esports... Um, it's 5 now, right? Boom are trying to crunch mid uh, I'm out here sleeping. I was wondering if they were going to get rid of the hunt. Control. SPG disrespecting this info line that Zespi likes to get Okay, on, so they go for something different. Market. They force buy by the looks of it. Although Bucky low buy. Zero. Okay, that's the, the first time we actually... Well, the second time we get a, a well. entry. They're going to be able to read exactly what SPG is doing here and prepare for it accordingly. They push down the flank. The trip's gone because the Cypher's dead. And Boom are steamrolling their way straight up into Elbow now. Louder. I can put it ever so slightly up. Well, though. SPG, they continue to push up front. And looking from the back now, this elbow line has to be held. Francis looks to shoot. Zespi takes down the first top, and then it's going to be Famous chiming in. When would you the record a timeout? Pack, they're trying um, to first buy round. Onto the other side, they, yeah, they can't play like that. In. They can't play Famous like they did in their first buy round. NC Slasher, he has been shut down. Oh, man. Just can't this team is... So much better right than everyone in Ascension. Huge it's insane. In the <laughs> That's sport, so good. Going right for them here. They Surely actually... they need a pause. Surely they not need a fight. They to be able now. to mentally reset from this horrific start here on Sunset. It's not even really a map that we've seen. Between um, these apple two pie teams. fly SPG, with the prime. Thank you with the three months. They're playing against that. And the the Like it must be something like the the old days of playing against Paper Rex because I feel like attack. this is exactly how Boom looks, lost the best of three when they met. Risky. Is that they were always I mean, just late to the fights. The yeah. And then it it seemed like they were very proactive against Full Sense to remedy that. But then now it's SPG again and he just can't keep up. I think it's right though. It feels like Paper Rex. Like the old Paper Rex and like what they to do to teams this feels they like it like yeah just yeah except rushes here. and the We're util's hoping. good and they're on the fly they're, they're on the SPG fly just like uh, chemistry is just unreal Earlier in yeah, the year, the, the on the fly like together, chemistry and adjustments is definitely kind of underrated. I think even for old paper Rex. Yeah, 
Japan. Oh no, some, some of the stuff they look looked so coordinated. And it's yeah. just yeah. on the fly comms and, the playoffs, and someone that is willing and trusting they have just in the initiators to just absolutely everyone. send them. And it makes me wonder, like, or whatever what kind of there is. Yeah, yeah. Home? What kind of teams are these guys playing? Yeah, it's like the Korea. old stuff when How they started using, when Forsaken started playing the Harbor, right? Like they would just throw the, the cove wherever and they would swing out of it together and yeah, things like that. You can't, like, plan that out every time. How good at SPG looking compared to the mid-VCT teams? If this team were playing like this this year in VCT, they would have made champs. They, they would have got the fourth spot, at least. At least. That's my opinion. Chat, 7-0? Or they, they just did the timeout, right? Six now. Yeah, gonna be a massive fight over A main here, but SPG are just here feeling this out. You need to see the logos. The Not a chance. You have to draw a wolf. Hopefully, the utility has been set up. Crash push through, and SPG falls back. But then the contact it isn't quite good. Zespi has to teleport out as well. SPG has read that so well, but that's where Margaret oversteps over the top mid, punished by Shiro again. A man advantage for Boom, but can they convert? They couldn't retake the A site with a 5 on 4 advantage. Okay, At least third this time they get the uh, third time they get the fast kill. Still up inside inside market. I can hear the footsteps of the breach coming back to B main, but it's just a and then they go for a one, one pass of fate. Francis, <laughs> and this is when you know it's going bad. Middle. It's a 5 v 4 and, and you're still going like super aggro. This as a B site hit with the breach. They clear all the middle. The, the breach fake kills gets four people here. The last just pass on holding A even rotates, but this is this is smart. It's not that it's a rotate, just it's just that he's scared of getting pinched from either side, so he goes to somewhere really where well, he's enough to worry about behind. Go down. Gonna go over the side. There's gonna be no contact. They get Zespi into sight, they get the plant, this guy gets spammed through smoke, so there's a black well. screen. And he just continues to spray <laughs> through with aggressive on? fire, trying to fend off Boom. They are trying to get a little bit more space back into the site. The fault line connects. Sight lines, though, not quite there. Damn. NC Slasher, famous. Here we go. They have gone in. Here we go. Now looking for more. Surely. It's going to be SBG trying to shoot off onto the other They're two, on the board. The crowd, the crowd are here. Comes in with the blades. They got Razor. They're finally back into I saw the game. a Razor here as well. They might be in, in an okay position. They cannot lose this round. They cannot lose this round because three people dying. But at least Boom has not let as many oh, the poor rounds hard go man. by the wayside. Production must be losing their mind. The so there's They've three people right now from Boom that if they lose, the can't buy next. So they got to gotta win this. you got to see that raise or you got to see what else was there with this. Um, they need to tell the Observer yeah. to stop pressing tab more, I think, Shiro. as One well. To six is the score. So we can see the... His retakes play, but here oh. comes SBG again. They're oh, boy. trying to switch up the pace. Danby in with the relays. Complete disengage. They read the fact that it's a stack. Yeah, they got a lot out of that. They did a fake. Well, I say fake. They sent the neon up close, and the neon obviously can get out of all of this util. And they use wingman, breach stun, omen flash, and a razor. And they got nothing for it. El Morta so with a 16 months. Thank you so much for the Prime, bro. I appreciate the it. Not quite there, though, and there's a rolling thunder yeah, what do you reckon? This is the actual... It them up. looks like we got a... Out of blood. the top now. Berser, though, stopping them in their tracks. It's going to be a shot still going and exiting. And that's SB trying to fire back. Berser in. Not dead yet. A1v3. Tries to fall back, but NC Slasher on for a bit of a flank. They might not know he's here, but they blocked him off with the side. And the Clove kick. dies, right? Not a full kit of util. Going to deal with the haunt. That's going to reveal his position, Quack. 1v2. Alt expires, but here comes the Dizzy. Man, he has position. to win NC this. Slasher, he's done it before. Can he do it again? Two players, two obstacles oh. right in front of him. Margaret, a little bit okay. too far for well, him. It's 7-1, and, and that's SPG and they got an eco. Just an immediate reply from SPG. So, They're reading the game they got so an eco well. On this. The patients outside of A main counting the util. They have these protocols in place. Yeah, there's going to be three people that can't buy a gun. The like, they're, they're, they're sitting around, ahead, like, two, 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 one, two, two, two for the money. The map, and there'll be the two people that have, like, three ones so they can kind of get a low buy. So. You may probably have, like, two hero guns into this with, like, classic sheriffs on the other three. 
Yeah, you can Wait, see the two hero guns the on these two. Once SPG takes some space over there, but Late peek over towards the middle. Catch them off guard a Hold up. The kill's coming through from Boom thick and fast. Still though, it's some of those are pistols. But the Sheriff connects! Margaret goes down! Yeah, and, and that's two guns here that they can definitely Still pick up if they want the to. I say two, sorry, three guns. It's currently a 2v4. Trying to hold off on some of the rotating lines. But no peaks so far. Here comes the flash. Ivy trying to fall back. Still trying to hold towards Boba. Another flash being drawn out from Boom. The shots will connect. Yeah, okay, lovely trade. One v three. Able to hop on over. It's all nice, down. dude. And, and they get some. And they get some guns. Claims another round for Boom. I, w I will. Um. I will say for like the. The real kind of copium hopium, it is an attack sided map. Like it's an attack sided map. But a thrifty win is going to do a hell of a lot of damage to SVG's economy and give Boom access to some much needed rifles. The crowd willing them on and they are fighting for this game of sunset. Chat. Definitely is, is this the like behind the my HUD? Have they actually fixed the HUD? Wait. Wait. But you gotta consider whoa, whoa, that was a working hunt. game right now. Oh. Have a couple online getting pretty close to a rolling oh. thunder here for Francis. We chance it? Control, oh yeah, we chance it. To, but it's more Danby that I'm keeping my eye on. Once he rips that overdrive, he is merciless. So far we've been wondering about it. And famous catch up to the speed that Danby brings. The paint shells trying to hold it off. How many players here for Boom? Ready with the reactive util of the breach. Free oh, the gecko, hit the gecko. Thunder going for, but the marsh will kick them back for now. It's been completely avoided. Boom trying to hold up. Oh, the prowler locked on to the breach, so we thought there was no one close. Man, the Odin guy kills three without an Odin. Dude, hold up. Hold up. Okay. How's he getting three from that pause? I mean, the breach did incredible. The breach did really good to like bait in Ready with and the neon for sure. Tunnel vision. Side, and that's where you need to slow down SVG before they get rolling. You can't let them get into the side. They woke up. Let them They're catching on. Yeah. They play those yeah, the backup's a lot faster now. So perfectly. Yeah, the they got they got faster rotates. The, the people the holding the site doing good. They actually have like three yeah. on the site playing together now when they hit. It's the like the main thing. The yeah, yeah, exactly. Both the gecko and the rays. Dude, look and at how many of them are starting in sport. They need to keep breathing this correctly. Just ready to sprint over. Yeah, yeah insta rotate. As soon as they hear some sound. Extremely tilting to play against, but boom. Who's but time out is here. this? They definitely have a will and a way back into this game. After that thrifty win, after successfully defending the B hit, they are just one round away from resetting SPG's economy. And that could be an easier road back into a 5-7. And that is a very is different SPG? line from what we've been seeing at the upper bracket. Yeah, I really like that from their coach as well. They've got the will. Like, he's They've making got sure the they don't mess Nosky. this one up. So I'm curious to hear your take on this. Because so I haven't actually gone back and counted it all throughout. Right but... Here. Mm. Right My now, theory is that SPG holds on to their the timeouts round. until there's only like two or three rounds left. So that way, if they make an adjustment, the opponents can't. Uh, oh, if interesting. They, yeah, they don't have enough rounds. Because during Challengers Korea as well, I've always felt that they save their timeouts until really late. Uh, and then something I noticed in Ascension is it's always in a way where it would just feel awkward to call a timeout even if you had both left if you're the opposing team. Yeah, yeah. Because normally it is like a ping pong where it's just like we change up, then you yeah. see what we're doing, and then you change up. Like it's only yeah. rarely like, like the top teams will like guess right with what's going on. Sure, sure. So you would imagine now that there's either a lurker or they like they got your map control. Right. And in the meantime, I mean, there's at least SPG's a lot. Huh? Taken all of a hands be left behind for the retake. But yeah, I think it might be right. Uh, it's, it's a cool, um, it's a cool way of doing it. Like last SPG two rounds or like last three rounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He might I mean, obviously, I guess there, there is a risk that retake. you don't clean it up fast enough. But yeah, <laughs> but I mean, this, you can definitely see the change up. Look at the cypher and spawn. They're gonna pinch these guys pushing behind because they just need to take them up control. And it's just so much time, too. Yeah, you just drag them around. Back they know looks the official for him, right? Looking to start things off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So darn yeah. hard. NC Slasher starts things off, eliminating the lurk. Famous, unfortunately, falls. Ivy, he holds the line. Persia 
onto the next as well. <laughs> no way. Slasher fighting for his life. Oi. Bro, bro is playing. Drops off to another weapon. No time on it, but. Tries to Manages to catch him red-handed. Shiro alone and cold the spike. Uh, Castro Dazzy with the prime. Thank you so much for the five months, man. Thank you, thank you. Odin guy, dude, position, Odin guy's doing great. They can never quite make it back in in time. The retake takes far too long. They wait for Margaret in spawn. They the problem was they used official into it. I mean, he might even get another official. Them. But the patience from SPG is what wins them the round. They don't need to move an inch. They don't need to move a muscle. And boom, take far it's too full long winnable. to retake elbow clear. It, it, I mean, it is, but... They need to, to complete in this context, retake, it's very unlikely. From MC Slasher, it's just not enough. Boom are working against insurmountable odds right now, but they are still not backing down. It is eight to three, the last round of the first half. It's gonna be a quick B split, changing up the pace. NC Slasher has to be able to hold on to market side here, but Danby's swinging up through spawn. Wait, this is legit. Wait, this is legit. Unfortunately caught out of wear. That's awesome. And that's gonna be NC Slasher trying to dance around wow. the utility, but he gets this caught. This is sick, man. The net is completely wrapped around Boom. So it, it's a three-way split, and the Neon's famous. going all the there way around spawn, and he has, the, he has the wall to block spawn. And, and then they fade out as well. You can't hear these guys going all the way forward, and you have no idea where the Neon is. Those are awesome rounds. Down to Berserks. This is He's one of the cool so things with Neon. Like the fast strats work really well because um, it is like it's similar to like Jet. You know, you know. Uh, the best way to describe this is because everyone plays Ascent. It's like you know when you split over towards B, right? You want to split over towards B and you have to smoke short and smoke spawn. And Jet's great because you can always smoke middle. It's similar to that. Like you can start doing these because you have that wall that blocks off that extra point of vision, which means that single smoke can still go like really. Fast. I mean, that's all but they did. They did case, so many fast the strats. Fade has immense value. Not a single player from Boom can hear Danby sprinting through market behind them, and he catches them both off guard for free. Yeah, that was cool. And with that, we head on over to the second half, Pilski. It's clear that SPG has everything. Um, dude, a breach. A yeah, breach fade, so good. good. We have fast. They pick a map it's clean. Where they have clear the, um, the fast strat they did there was awesome. Yeah. Uh, and one that hadn't been done throughout the yeah. half. Yeah, game, I've never... SPG, I don't think I've seen that one yet on a like Neon. Like it goes, wraps already. all the way around from um, Boba. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think exactly they've like pulled that the once bracket. before oh, okay. in this tournament, but not in this game, yeah. That was awesome. To to be able to get I was just saying to chat there, like, this is why the Neon's, like, really strong as well. Because, like, the kid is so perfect for these kind of fast trance. Like, the, the, the wall to block vision. And it's, like, the hardest agent to spam through smoke. Like, the, yeah. fa the fast smokes, especially with the Clover, just you have the insta smokes down and you don't have to worry about anything else. Mm. The fast strats on this comp is legit. Opposition as tough as Neon's just too strong, man. I don't think so. <laughs> like the more the more I think like the more I think about Neon and like I, I was playing it a little bit yesterday, it's way too strong. But do you think? I mean, I, I agree. But do you think it's also like soon enough it will be too easy for like pros to pick up and all be at a similar level? Or do you think still I think the skill level is so high that it only suits certain players. Okay, so there is that, but there like is once that. you get there, like you're unstoppable almost. Yeah. Of the players' monitors, that trophy stands. It is halftime, and like Zespi Black out tomorrow or today. What day is it today? This is what he's Black chat is Tuesday. The Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. They need the energy from the crowd right now. Gonna be B main Sunday control. today? Okay, right yeah, yeah, she's there. Berserk's left behind. Full main control over on the A side of the map, taken by SPG, and they're already in rotation. Back across to A, or back across to B rather, giving support over to Margaret, who's just sitting on the can. Trip gets dealt with, and in goes Famous to the side. Straight in, paranoia. Great nade. Through as well. Famous in with okay. Himself, trying to catch on to Margaret, he will do it! And then SPG tries to push Okay, it's another Boba. pistol with a fast pick. Getting ready to commit on this retake and isolate these players the on the side. pushing the behind. The relay, Debbie is smooth. Managed to close in the distance. Ivy up from the back line. Big kill, man. Big kill. Drop, 
Should be the rounds with that. Well. Persia setting up for the flank, but it gets dealt with. NC Slasher now, it's all up to them, as well as Berserks holding it up from main side. They've got the angles, they've got the utility. Dembi has to try to make it stick, but here comes I respect NC that, Slasher man. He's having none of it. He cuts him up. <laughs> He's having absolutely none of it. Dude, he would have left his teammate in a 1v1 with 2 Being HP if he died there. That was giant. Giving them the energy they need to uh, Matty, get thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Bucky thank you so much. Oh, then guy, yeah, dude, he's, he's out here playing. I go back to the sheriff, but I'd love to see him get a shotgun in this round. Do I believe? No, I don't believe. But Boom. That's exactly the what good news is that they're believing, so that's why it, it, that's why it works well. They need a strong economy to be able to perform this comeback, and they have done this a couple of times in this tournament. They've started very slow in some of these halves, down 3-9, completing comebacks against the SG... Completing comebacks uh, just previously against Riddle Order in the series that we cast and winning an OT. And then the shots come through though. SPG, they will not back down without a swing. A couple of shots with the Sheriff up towards A main. They are contesting well, that's for this area, not wanting to let Boom through into B. Famous will be able to take at least one down, but then the trade. Looking for yeah, the but they can just throw the guns out the map here. On it, but he's got naught, but a classic needs to catch him on a good timing or with the util. Silver. Despy up onto the other side. In with oh. the Guardian! It was testy as well. Yeah. He had light armor, a couple they, um, of shots. I mean, they full board Despy into this one. In a matter of seconds. Ivy's trying to get on the rotation. It, it got a little bit risky. Imagine that guy on yeah, site no dies with the Guardian here. Just yet. Ivy trying to get a Whoa, one, there, but zero there was a lot of close duels here, man. Boom. I, I wonder if these two are going to buy. The they can the honestly half. bonus this, considering it's 9-5. It's, it's not that bad. That's what they need. Now they have some firepower into this bonus round to try to either chip away at the economy of SPG or deal them a blow. Dude, that first shot had hit. Oh just my like god. They were inflicted in the first half. SPG, on the other hand, though, still well and truly in control of this game. Nothing to get too concerned about just yet. Into the first gun round should still okay, be. Okay, I like this though. Confident. They're still kind of still relatively calm at the moment, Maybe still bonusing. Result. Boom feeling things out. Cam dealt with over on the A side of the map and control established by the one. We got a smoke a deep top side. mid to create a lot of pressure. Of the three market. is now three over right here because of the rotate. Boom clearing the cam, being aware that a trap can come in from the Ooh. breach. One. Cross spotted by Persia. He's looking for the shot, but denied! NC Slasher! Oh, nice trade. Man. Big jewel. Dude, nice Yuto at the moment. The oh, Margaret's a beast. Margaret's a beast. Ah, he's a beast. The, this was a nice reaction from them. As soon as one committed here, and this guy saw, like, what, two, maybe even three? I guess three if you include the guy that's crossed. We just insta leave the sites and we go dual middle. Two and one just leaving the site to the three passing into the middle here. It was nice. It was a great reaction. They rotate into a one three one and crunch top mid from both sides. You can see both the Preach and the Neon as well as Margaret over from top mid and spawn side here just spraying through the smoke. They're just running. Oh, great. Yeah, his name's great. And that's not how you wanted your first bonus to go. Back onto the B main. Okay, we've got camera contact into stun into potential other stun. And yeah, vision gets blocked. So can't really do it off the camera contact. They don't want to get caught by the traps either. The potential of the breach fade to be able to catch you off guard and a quick little neon slide in. Yeah, late it's swing over to towards middle off. and we're just and walking down. Walk back to the other side of the map and see if they How on top of it is this guy? He looks ready. He's good for the first oh. and the next. Falls back nice. immediately. Cyber cage up. He hears and collects on information. Persia off to the elbow angle. Good for the first, and instantly uses to pick me up to try to fall back, holding down the line for SPG. No oh, way, he got another one. How's he doing this? The not dead yet comes back in, and that leaves Famous as the lone survivor. The spike on the ground. He flicks, gets the first burst. Still needs to take down two more, though, and he could be surrounded. Ooh. Off to the next flick, and he gets down Ooh. Margaret as well. Ivy oh. trying to set it up the best. Yeah, I wasn't sure on how many people SPG. were flanking on this one because he was silent the whole time. Dude, the Clove did so much. How did he get to three there? With you, Quack, SPG were kind of feeding it to him. They were giving him the 1v1s. They were giving him a chance, but he was not ready. 
for that flank on short side. And despite all the damage, that was a nutty round. Bro, how, how, how's he getting sports. three on Scient? Insane. Unless they could take advantage yeah, of this reset. I, I impression played that so well. Yeah, this part, this part, this is the thing with this team, man. They're all so good. <laughs> it's 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 borderline like annoying because they're all just incredible fans. Yeah, yeah. I think all of their game IQ is very high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dangerous. Oh my! And then these pace changes, right after a yeah. round like that. Yeah. <laughs> You can't even get into mid. Just neon. This is the thing, man. I love their comp. Control, like their comp is nice. Takes everything uh, away from you. Just the just the fastest overwhelm. Boom, like you don't have time to react really. Like clove smokes come down round. insta. Then you're getting so stunned. Then there's a neon together. with an ult on you. There's probably a fade eye somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And all of it's very fast. It's all so fast. Yeah. This is this is the thing that um like happened this year like uh you know how everyone speaks about like being consistent in this game is hard like this, this year compared to last year is the biggest like the best example it's so different like mid rounding perfect info to sky with sky flashes to now you don't even need to be able to call other than have good fast sight hits at the moment like double flashes or whatever people are using gecko descendant. Question is, are Boom gonna it's give so it different. It can be any more different meta. That's true. Yeah, the sky was a totally so different game. Yeah. Zespi, just to control the site. Tries to reposition. Strouded steps up to an elevated angle as well. The aftershock not connecting. Fame is up from behind. Ivy gets a shock. Persia though slipped through the smoke. And see Slasher holds his crosshairs tight and close. And famous. And yeah, we stay alive for a little bit. Seven chances to six chances. However they can. The thrash being absolutely instrumental in that round. Thrown right off the bat to clear all of that A space. The second wave, once it comes off cooldown, to be able to spot out the flank and helping Boom to position themselves appropriately. But you can see this is where it's only going to take one slip up from Boom. SVG keeps throwing these aggressive rounds in. You can never know when Danby's sliding at you with a breach done coming in your face. And at the end of the day, that's going to be very difficult to deal with. That's going to be something that is only going to take one little slip up, one lapse of concentration. And the game's over. 5 sunset. One possible yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Boom. Looking the entry. The dizzy comes we have seen it once, but this one feels a little so bit far, different. Dude, double satchels over the trims. Continuing to push through now, but no, <laughs> that's so unlucky. It <laughs> was nice from the he saw the fade out as well, so he like kind of knew roughly where it was from. Ah oh, man, look at this guy! Damn, look at this guy! He's so good on neon. He's so good, and just the util so good. His wall usage is awesome, dude. If you could put like all of the neons together with what they're good at, you get a crazy good play. Sound like. Oh, they're hectic. They must be hectic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but they also like sometimes Dombi accepts that he's the one being the bait and drawing everyone. And then other times it's everyone else, right? Like it, 